Dear shareholders, it's my pleasure to talk to you through this video at the occasion of the AGM, because restrictions imposed by the coronavirus outbreak made impossible for me, for the directors, and for most of yourselves to attend in person the meeting in Amsterdam. 2019 was an historic year for Airbus, as we celebrated our 50th anniversary. I'm proud to say that since 1969, we have been innovative pioneers that have helped transform the aerospace and defense industry and developed ourselves as a world leader. Looking back to 2019, it was a defining year when a new generation of management took the helm. Recruited from outside and within the company, this new team has the required expertise and values to continue driving aerospace innovation and address the challenges and the opportunities of 2020 and beyond. Your board continued to stay close to the products and businesses. During the year, we visited the A220 final assembly line in Montreal. We examined key topics in our meetings, including strategy, commercial aircraft ramp up, defense and space programs, digital transformation, product safety and cybersecurity, and of course, compliance. The board committees once again had a busy year. I would like to thank the remuneration, nomination and governance committee, especially the chair, Amparo Moraleda, for, the preparing, for, for preparing the recommendation of the wider board regarding management transition. At the audit committee, Catherine Guilloire made a strong start as a new chair, mastering business and external challenges. The compliance-related settlements reached with the French, UK and US authorities in January 2020 turned the page of unacceptable business practices from the past. I would like to thank the Ethics and Compliance Committee and the entire board for their full support and guidance in reaching these settlements. This AGM today will see two directors step down and two new ones join. I would like to thank Herman Joseph Lamberti, the former long-standing leader of our audit committee, who leaves after more than 12 years. I have also announced my own departure after seven years. The board has pre-selected René Oberman to replace me as chairman. René is a respected former European CEO and a technology expert. He already knows Airbus well, having been a director since 2018. We propose the election of Stefan Gemko and Mark Dunkerley to become new directors. Each brings widespread experience in the commercial airline and aviation industry, in finance and operational roles. The mandates of Ralph Crosby and Lord Dresden are up for renewal. In March 2020, and subsequent to the disclosure of the 2019 results, the board took a number of immediate measures in reaction to the outbreak of the coronavirus. These included the withdrawal of the 2019 dividend proposal in order to bolster liquidity. In the present circumstances, this was quite necessary to protect Airbus. In summary, 2019 was a year of a wide transition to prepare our company for the future. I would like to thank all Airbus employees who made these accomplishments both possible and successful and also for their efforts in a very difficult year 2020 ahead. For me, it has been a great honor to serve Airbus with real passion and pleasure. And I extend my best wishes to my successor, René Oberman. With a renewed management team, under Guillaume's strong leadership and an experienced board, your company is in good hands as it heads into the sixth decade and addresses its immediate 
and longer term challenges. Thank you very much for your trust during these seven past years and farewell. <laughs>